What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here and in this video I'm going to show you some advanced Facebook marketing techniques and strategies that you can go through and implement to your business. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can actually share different audiences from one Facebook ads account to another Facebook ads account. So whether it's just purely an audience or it could be a lookalike audience and the reason why I'm going to be going through and sharing this with you guys is it's not, this is probably not for everyone, this is probably for kind of more high-end marketers where you know you run in a marketing agency or you've got your business and maybe you've gone through and you've got all these conversions on one Facebook pixel and you want to go through and kind of spread it out to another Facebook ads account. And this kind of idea actually came up with um, Charles actually the other day and I responded to him but I, I kind of wanted to share this with you guys here because I get this question actually quite a bit and so he said hey Jason thanks for great content. He's basically asking okay I've got uh, I'm gonna go through and I've got my Facebook pixel and I'm generating leads but then I want to be able to go through and not only generate leads but say hey I want I want to warm that pixel up for people buying my products and then other products and he even says over here um, let's see to sum it up how's info pixel data from the last conversion moved on to the next if it's a new ad set okay so basically um, how is the pixel info from lead generation converted over to maybe purchases or purchase of another item and another thing is he says he's got multiple products that are serving multiple different markets. So really quick, just before I go in and share with you guys how to go through and share your audience, your, your lookalike audiences, all that stuff. When you're going through, if you, you're serving multiple markets, I would create a separate Facebook ads account for those different markets. So for example, for me, when I'm running my ads, I've got the real estate niche and I have the mortgage niche. Okay, so realtors and mortgage brokers are a little bit different. And so I'll have one account serving the real estate market where I've got that Facebook pixel which is catering to, it's warming up, it's learning all the information on how to best serve my ads to the realtors. And then I've got another one for mortgage brokers where it's going through and the pixel is learning who that ideal demographic for me is to go through and use. Okay, now he says he's got multiple products serving multiple markets. Now, if you have let's say three to four different products serving the same market so for example I have multiple offers and products for realtors for mortgage brokers I'm going to keep those same multiple products and offers within the same Facebook ads account within the using the same Facebook pixel because that Facebook pixel is getting warmed up learning how to go through and serve my ads and find the best people the best realtors the best my ideal target audience for the ads that I'm creating and what I'll do is if I'm going through let's say I'm just going through to generate leads for like I, I run webinars So if I'm generating leads for that webinar I'll keep all of that those ads and all those ad sets within the same campaign Okay, and then if I'm going through and I'm trying to sell another product Let's say I've got you know like our $40 buyer leads course. Okay, so that little training I'll create a separate campaign because Facebook will go through and optimize your pixel and the different conversion events Towards each campaign level, so they'll both be conversion campaigns, okay? But I'll have one towards webinar registrations, and so we'll optimize for that for that campaign. I've got another one for my buyer leads product, okay? And so that'll be in that campaign, and then and and so on. So for any other products, you keep them in separate campaigns, so you're not tracking multiple conversion events within the same campaign. Now, if this is way over your guys head, don't worry guys. This is very advanced Facebook marketing stuff So you most likely don't need to really worry about it if you're kind of like a small local business owner But let's just jump in. I want to show you guys Because this is really key and, and this is very helpful if you're running kind of a big marketing agency or a big business You want to go through and spread your ad sets across a few different ads accounts or share different data From you know your ad account to a client's or vice versa from a client's to your account so if we come in here to the ads manager, we can go over here to audiences. We'll just click audiences right there And so it'll pull up all of the custom audiences that we've created all the look like audiences whatever type of audiences So this one this is my mortgage um, ads account I haven't used it too much, but you can see we've got some audiences in, in here. So we've got all of our mortgage leads um, Not all of them. I think this is kind of just like I created this a few months ago looks like and then I've got okay I've got a 1% look like based off these mortgage leads. I've got uh, people who visited the webinar registration page for mortgage So I've got a few of these different options here. Okay, so let's say You want to go through and share this audience info with another ads account whether it's for a client 
or a client has these audiences that you want to share with them or you're working together with somebody like for example let's say you're doing a joint venture with somebody where they've got all this awesome you know custom info of the, this targeted audience that you want to be able to go through and use but you want to use your ad dollars or their ad dollars or vice versa whatever it is all you got to do is come over here just click on this and then you come over here to actions you hit share and then what happens is you just put in the ad account ID or the ad account name. Okay, so if you look up here, this is where the ad account ID or name is. So you just put that right into, oops, sorry, you go to actions, share, and you put it in there and you hit share, then it automatically will sync and drop into their Facebook ads account. And then you can use that audience, they can use that audience, or you know, however you're gonna go through and leverage that. Okay, so anyway guys, um, hopefully this video was helpful. I know this is a lot more advanced high-level topic of diving deep into the um, Facebook advertising campaign and how to go through separate different products, how to use the pixel, how to go through and use the different conversion events. So basically kind of going back to, was it Charles? If you have, let's say you're, you're, you're training a pixel for lead generation because you don't have any customers yet, you're just getting started. Okay, you're gonna have one campaign for lead generation. The pixel is gonna be learning, learning, learning. Okay, then you're like, okay, I've got enough people for purchases. I'm gonna create a new campaign for a new conversion event for just purchases, right? So now the pixel is has learned info from the lead generation, but now it's learning more information from purchases. And then as you go on, you'd create a new campaign if you have a new product, and it's gonna learn off of all those different products, those different offerings, and based on the campaign it's in. It's gonna know okay for this campaign. It's looking for this types of people for this one It's looking for this type and this one is looking for this type of people and it'll go be able to segment it But overall your whole Facebook pixel is learning is getting a lot more data overall. So anyway guys Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I know it was probably for a very sp small specific uh, market, but also I, I replied to Charles's comment I don't know if it really made sense because I'm not that good at writing so I wanted to go through shoot a video for Charles or anyone else that might find this helpful. So if you did find it helpful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys subscribe because we try to launch new videos daily. Well, for sure, every single week on how to generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business. So with that said, guys, thanks so much for watching today, and we'll see you all tomorrow.